What is up guys and girls, I'm Adidi Papi, welcome to my channel, welcome to my little tavern and today I just want to present you the Rune Master, this is my first time playing the character, the, the class basically and uh, yeah, we in last epoch, the game is launches in 24 hours so I have been playing all this week uh, last epoch and trying out different characters I mostly be participating in a race to, to the first hundred depending on how much work I have the next day but if not, I will do three roll warlock since it's it's a class that I've been mostly waiting on in this game. It's a warlock. I have to play a warlock, and uh, my league starter, or whatever you see the starter, whatever you want to call it, will probably be this. This is a rune master. My it was my first time playing this, so first character I made, I kind of sculpted it myself. What I did is I kind of tried to try everything up, and I completely forgot about defensive layers on the character, so. I end up uh, having an insane damage, but uh, anything that was sneezed on me, will, I, would, I would die. I forget completely about the word. The word on this character is completely uh, broken. The word, what it is, it acts like an energy shield in, in Path of Exile, or I don't recall if it's anything like this in, in Diablo. I think there's some sort of energy shield. Basically, it covers over your life. It protects your life before, so the hits go into it before the life. And what uh what's the best thing I like about this character is it's actually its archetype. I have never played in a Walker and Dota, but there's a lot of comparison to it. What this character does, it throws out spells in the in elemental spells, and depend and you gather these runes. You we get this spell, which is a runic invocation, and every time we throw a spell, we get a rune. It's uh, it can be three different types: cold, fire, or lightning. And depending on the combination, we're gonna we're gonna summon one or the other skill. So we cast three runes, and we summon. So this is gonna be a, a base, a, a main skill, which uh, which is the is the guide I'm following. Uh, I keep forgetting the name of it. It doesn't have a, an easy name to remember. Hydrahedron. So it's like a totem or or a hydra, whatever you want to call it. You place it on the ground, and basically it shoots targets. It does aim. It doesn't just shoot everywhere. It actually aims the targets. I can. I can show you and I'm gonna do an echo and uh, yeah I grab the guide and I keep playing the character until I hit the and then um, the leveling guide I was following got me up to way all the way to model 80 which I can just face roll face roll over them and I have very generic gear there is no legendary potential or anything like this the only thing this I like about this build which it was not in a guide was this unique gear this is this is probably for this particular build the best unique you can get in game and what it basically does for me why i like it is it has a chance to invoke every time we cast a fire spell since we cast in two fire spells in each rotation of a hydrohedron we mostly will be popping out uh, this uh, like a lot of times like a lot of times so the gear scales very easy only thing new two things that you have to scale on your gear which is first the priority is life health vitality life uh, flat life increased life then vitality in those order and resistances resistances is very important on this build i as you can see i'm almost capped i was capped and over capped before but i had to change some gear around for the softcore softcore noob if you want to call me but damage over defenses so only two layers of the defensive, very easy to build. The only thing you need to cap is the is the resistances. It might be a bit tough if you're using too many um, unique items, but it should be easy. And we can can do go do an echo, yeah. and the echo just click in. And I will show you how this build just pay rolls over everything. He did get a slight nerf in patches, so we got a nerf to the word. Uh, basically, the build was immortal. It was literally immortal. You could not kill the the amount of word you would get. You could, you could not you could not kill this build. So that's fine. It, it's not a it's not a reason to yeah this this uh, build is not um, not good anymore. It's, it's still perfect and the damage to the the nerf to the damage was so minor that it's hardly noticeable since I mentioned before. Uh, there's so many ways to scale our damage, so you can't really nerf it uh, around there unless you like trim half of the build in a game, which is probably not going to be the case. Let's just get over to the boss, and I'll show you the boss. As you can see, everything just gets melted in a way. It is a bit slow. The build is a bit slow, and as you can see, I'm not using my life class. I'm not using even my protective, which is my right click, the flame ward. 
We don't not even using that. We might be using this here. Let me pop it out. But yeah, the build just so crazy. Echo Conquer, this was Echo level 80. Uh, I'm not sure if I actually showed you that. I will show you as we get out. Let me get out. Not even picking up shards. So yeah, basically carried me on a, on a gear I found on my way here. So Echo 80, I haven't tried the corruptions yet and uh, I'm gonna keep that blind for myself for the, for the 1.0. I haven't played the corruption or the, I don't know anything about the factions in the game. Uh, yeah, really cool uh, character, so I will be starting this. If not, I'll probably roll a Warlock for memes and get that to level 100. And that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. And I'll see you guys after 1.0. I'll be probably updating rather uh, my race or the, the Warlock progression. But that's enough for me, probably. Bye-bye.